Our top story, the family of a man killed by a state trooper during a traffic stop late last month he is calling for justice. The family of Ricky Cobb the second is also threatening to sue. Our Paul Bloom joins us live from downtown. Paul, the Cobb family and their lawyers speaking this afternoon, asking for change and accountability. BC and Karen, good evening to both of you. You know, we haven't heard directly a whole lot uh, from uh, Ricky Cobb II's uh, family in the days, uh, nearly two plus weeks now, since that deadly traffic stop uh, encounter out on the freeway. Now, uh, today, late this afternoon, they came here outside the excuse me, the U.S. Federal Courthouse in downtown Minneapolis with their attorneys. They made clear they believe this trooper who opened fire at the passenger side door should never wear a badge again. They believe he should never have pulled a weapon during a traffic stop, and finally, they want that trooper charged. Just let justice prevail so I can lay my son peacefully to rest. Nearly three weeks later, and there is only grief, heartache, and questions for the parents of Ricky Cobb II. And for me to have lost a son at such an age, such a young age of his life at this point, it sickens and saddens me to the core of my soul. Cobb was killed during an otherwise routine traffic stop on I-94 in North Minneapolis. A couple state troopers attempting to arrest him on a felony order for protection violation. On body and squad camera videos, we see the 33-year-old refuse to step out of the vehicle. There's a struggle, and Trooper Ryan Lange again opens fire from the passenger side door as Cobb pulls forward. Cobb would not survive after crashing a short distance away. The troopers involved now on standard leave, the BCA, investigating the Hennepin County attorney will eventually decide on criminal charges. Cobb's family and their attorneys argue the evidence is clear. At least one round struck Cobb in the back, they say, and they want Trooper Longigan fired and charged criminally, vowing a federal lawsuit is now on the horizon. We firmly believe the video shows him violating policy. We firmly believe he should not have had a weapon pulled that day. We know that, the, that the, the order was invalid. We know there was no warrant. And to murder somebody for a uh, rear taillight is a bit aggressive, to say the least. And we know the BCA investigation is ongoing. Authorities have said they want to get that wrapped up within 60 days and then get that across the street here to the office of Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty. Now, late today, I did hear from Trooper Longigan's uh, attorney. He said he watched uh, the afternoon news conference writing to me, quote, nothing these lawyers say surprises me. Greed, quote, makes people say ridiculous things. We're live outside the federal courthouse in downtown Minneapolis for you. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.